Hi everyone, I'm Matt Mulvaney from Precious and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Apex and uh, SQL injection vulnerabilities. So it all starts really with this cartoon which you may have seen before. Uh, this is cartoon is uh, all about SQL injection which is a vulnerability which can affect uh, database applications. Um, this comic is called XKCD and this com this uh, cartoon actually came out some, some years ago but it's still talked about quite a lot. So basically the school rings up and the mother and says they're having some issues. The mother is concerned. Uh, the school says, did you really name your son Robert's uh, quotation brackets um, uh, semicolon drop tail students? So at this point, the mother realizes what's happened and said, oh yes, little Bobby Tables is what we call him. The school, school confirms that they've lost this year's student records. I hope you're happy. So, um, the mother replies with, I hope that you've learned to sanitize your data inputs. So what's really happened here is that Robert has managed to maybe change his name. But in addition to putting his name in here in this third slide um, is adding some of his own commands that he wants to run on the database and he's dropping the table students. So maybe the university or the school um, only holds this year's records in students, maybe they archive off some records into another table, maybe there's a VPD, maybe they use like a view or something just to show this year's student records. But nevertheless, um, the, the table has been dropped here and um, they've lost this year's records. So the mother's replying with, I hope you've learned to sanitize your data inputs. So I will show you this and how this would work in Apex. So in Apex, I've got um, a form and a report here. Here you see in the interactive report. And if you click on a uh, little Bobby Tables record, you can see that uh, this is um, using the wizard. I've just tidied the input fields up a bit, um, uh, but I can change his name here, apply. And when the report refreshes, you can see the first name has been changed to Robert. So this is completely fine. And because it's built using the wizard, it is completely secure as well. So this is my form. Here you can see the items on the page. When you press the save button, it's going to submit it. It runs the processes and it runs this form automatic row process in DML. So this is um, created by the wizard and it is secure. I can't hack the page. I can't change the inputs on uh, Robert's name like the cartoon. I can't change any of this. It's secure and it gives me some reassurance that things built through the wizard in Apex are going to be absolutely fine as well and uh, fine for your users to use. Right, so if um, since we're talking about things that are secure, um, if I use this alternate way, you may, in, this is quite possible in, for you in Apex, you might not want to use the uh, process for uh, the automatic row processing for whatever reason you might use your own update statement. So in here, I'm updating the students and I'm setting the columns to be the individual fields here. Yeah, so from the form, these individual fields there, uh, where the ID is the one on the screen is passed in. I'm gonna to date the date. If I use it this way, again, this is absolutely fine. Um, there's, um, there's little chance that I can um, hack this page just by changing some the fields there. So I'm very happy with, with that as well. Okay, so let's go on to the vulnerability as well. So I've explained two ways of doing secure um, coding, the automatic row processing and my own um, uh, update statements as well, but with, um, with the Apex bindings as well. So I'll show you the XKCD vulnerability. Okay, so if we look at the code for a second, Right, what I'm doing here is I've got this clob and it's got my begin and end. It's got my update string in here. Uh, and you can see I've got these percent %s's. I've got several percent %s's in the code here. Then I set um, my execute string to be the formatted version of uh, the update string. So this basically says uh, for the first parameter P3 grid, I place the uh, percent %s and the next one goes in there, the next one goes in there. So you get the idea. So I've built up a string here. Um, I can execute um, immediate that string and it will work. You know, I should be able to change my um, student records. 
So if I call him um, Bobby now, I can update his record and Bobby has, has changed. It's a bit pretty crazy way of um, coding like this, but um, you, you, you do see examples of this from, from time to time or um, like versions of that, uh, that, that code. So yeah, I changed Robert to uh, Bobby. However, I've introduced a, a massive security vulnerability into it, but just by just by coding in this way here. Um, so if I take uh, an example of um, the vulnerability and change the the first name, so what I'm doing here is I'm saying the first name is up to is up to there. Uh, oh, where the ID equals the, the one that I'm using, and then semicolon. And then I'm introducing my own code here. So I'm going to update the same record again, but I'm going to set the last name, which is here, to the result of my own SQL. So I'm going to say hello Apex, and then I'm going to select the version number from Apex release. So um, I could substitute here for a function. Um, I'm using SQL here. I could run my own procedure. Um, you know, the, I, I have total control of the database now due to this uh, vulnerability. So I'm going to apply the changes there. And you can see when it's refreshed, um, I'll paste the code back in here as well. But it's setting the last name to be the result of some SQL that um, the user shouldn't be authorized to run on the database. Yeah, the user shouldn't be able to type in any code here and the vulnerability being displayed on back to them. Yeah, so I could run some select statements and get the results here. Um, you, you know, I could run my own functions, um, so I could drop the tables as well. So this is what uh, the XKCD does. Um, I won't be able to uh, mix this uh, DDL language with PL SQL, but I guess if I can wrap to an executor media around there, I could have the same result as uh, as uh, Bobby tables here. So I'm not going to do that because I kind of like this this table, but it's completely possible that you could. Uh, um, run any of your code using this vulnerability here. OK, so I'm going to put debug on, and uh, we're just going to run that again, just to explain how the vulnerability works. So if I put the info level on. OK, here we go. We'll put the vulnerability in again, apply the changes, uh, look at the view debug. Should be at the top. Um, on page three, I think it is. Okay, so when this loads, uh, we're accepting the save 22 seconds ago. Okay, so here's my code. Um, I'm going to debug out the execute string here. Um, okay, so you can, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see here, I'm updating the students, set the first name equal little, little Bobby, where ID equals that. So my string takes over from here, and it ends like down here with a double quote here. So what should be between those two name, the two uh, single quotes is the first name from, from the Apex application. But what I'm doing is commenting out the rest of it, so it just runs um, it just runs um, as um, valid PL SQL. Yeah, so that's the vulnerability there. Um, so, like I say, of course, I could run something dangerous uh, like drop tables, and that could be um, really catastrophic for the database. So I need to um, stop uh, stop this happening, stop all these vulnerabilities happening, and there's some ways that I can do this. So the easiest way, the easiest way by far, is just by using um, bind variables. OK, so in this example here, right, so if, if you really insist on using a string like this, um, don't um, substitute in the values, yeah? Um, just type them as bind variables. So I'm using the colon and then my bind name. It doesn't have to be my field name, but it's just a bit more uh, maintainable as the code when you can see what's happening there. So I've got my update string, got my execute string. I execute immediate execute string using. So if I use um, using, I can use um, uh, 
um, in values like here, I can type the word in, or I can use out for out variables there. So by doing it this way, these values are bound into the uh, update statement, and this is secure. This is a secure way of doing it. So if I refresh the um, the report now, uh, sorry, the, the form. So let's call him tables, Robert. Just make sure it does work. So if I type tables Robert, he's back to his normal name, yeah. And if I open it up again, uh, let's try the vulnerability here. See if I've still got it in my clipboard. Apply the changes. Yeah, so that, that's worked. It set his name to whatever's in this field. But whatever is in this field should not run and execute on the database. So if, uh, if, if his name really is that, you know, it will show up in the application, but it will not run the app. It will not run the uh, the code. So that's one way of doing it. Yeah. Um, another way of doing it is, as the mother suggests, just sanitize the inputs. So in, I've got a validation here, and it says um, item does not contain any of the characters in this value here. So I've put a, um, a close brackets and a semicolon, and there's probably more I could think of. But if I try to sanitize the inputs here, apply changes, it says invary characters in the, the first name. So really, I, I could put the code back to this. I, it's not very advised. You know, when I see code like this, it's an instant uh, red flag that um, I see code like this. Um, so really, I, I could do that, but I wouldn't be comfortable. I would have to rewrite this as bind variables. That would be my preferred way or use the uh, the automatic row processing, the best way, or like I said, you can use the update statement here, using the apex bind variables, and that's, I'm gonna be happy with that as well. So I'm just gonna turn off this, um, this sanitized inputs um, just temporarily, and then we'll go on to another approach. Let's put that to never. And this is uh, a vulnerability which is fixed um, number two. So what I'm doing here is I'm using, right, so if you really insist on using this uh, this Apex string format, I could get rid of the quotes around here, uh, and then I could put the quotes back with your in quote literal. Now there's a good guide on, uh, on here about um, uh, in quote literal, and there's some examples. So it, it's in quotes, the entire input string with single quotes, it checks that other single quotes are present in adjacent pairs. So we've got to put like the in adjacent pairs here. If individual single quotes are found, like in my example here, you know, if, we, if you just find like a single quote in here, it will reject it, yeah? So that would be a, a basic level of preventing a SQL injection in your code, yeah? Um, it will probably not, let's put it back, Let's, it'd probably be not appropriate to to add this in this example here because some first names could have apostrophes like that, like uh, Bobby like that. But if you've got a field where you know for sure it shouldn't have any uh, single quotes in there, um, then that would be um, um, something that you could use as well. Okay, so that's an example of that. That's um, protected that. And if I put the vulnerability back in uh, without the uh, validation, it should tell me pure SQL numeric or value error. So that's that's coming from this uh, this um, in quote literal from DBMS assert. Okay, so that's uh, that's all I want to show you today. Uh, just be wary about uh, having um, some code in your applications which actually look like this, where you've got a string and you can find and replacing it because that is potentially vulnerable code and you may want to use some of the fixes uh, in that I've discussed, um, namely the automatic row processing, using Apex binds, uh, using um, binds with execute immediate, or you could use, um, where appropriate, the DBMS assert in quote literal. Okay, so thank you for watching that uh, short video. Thank you very much.